right guys this is uh, another scholarship opportunity at kent state university in the united states it's a merit-based uh, scholarship for undergraduate students scholarship are free aid that can help you pay for your degree especially if you have a strong academic background if you are interested in pursuing international student scholarship offered at kent state our Office of Global Education is here to help, to help. This application link, apply to KSU and find the financial aid you need. As an international student, you are qualified for many of the Kent State scholarships. One is the Global Scholarship. For the international student who has, who has a dream of studying in the United States, the Global Scholarship makes a Kent State education a whole lot closer than you think. Kent State established the Global Scholarship in January 2018 because it values diversity among the students' population and as a result seeks to attract greater number of high-quality international students to its campuses. The Global Scholarship is available to all incoming international undergraduate degree-seeking students who have been admitted to Kent State. The Global Scholarship provides eligible students with $4,000 per year at the rate of $2,000 per semester, including the cost of a Kent State four-year undergraduate degree by up to, to $16,000. So meaning that this scholarship will cover your four years of undergraduate studies at Kent State University. So let's continue. Let's look at the admission uh, requirement and eligibility for this scholarship. One is an incoming undergraduate international student at Kent State University. Two, freshman transfer, ESL only, and visiting students are eligible for the global scholarship. Three, graduate and current students are not eligible. 4. F1 visa holders only. 5. In-state resident students are not eligible for the Global Scholarship. 6. Only those students attending the Kent campus are eligible to receive the Global Scholarship. Next item is the application process. It says students will be automatically considered for the scholarship upon admission to the university. So let's look at the application deadline. Must be admitted by July 1st for the fall semester and by November 1st for the spring semester and March 1st for summer semester. So now that July 1st has passed, we will now be looking at in November 1st for the spring semester. So by our application ought to have reached, ought to have reached uh, Kent State University on or before the ending of October 2022. So let's continue. Let's look at the worth of the scholarship or the amount is $4,000 at $2,000 per semester. Incoming freshman students may receive the global scholarship for a total of eight semesters. Transfer students may receive the scholarship for up to eight semesters depending on the number of credits transferred to Kent State for the Global Scholarship to automatically renew each year. Awarded students simply need to maintain a continuous full-time enrollment at Kent State and good academic standing. So these are the, the condition for continual sustainability of the scholarship. So let's look at another one. The first one we've looked at. This one is, is Polar Tajko Family Scholarship. Now, this Polar Tajko Family Scholarship is available to students with family ancestry from Hungary, Poland, and Ukraine, with first preference given to students of Ukraine descent. Applicants may also include international students from these countries. Kent State University has a final selection authority for this scholarship. Now, what's the admission requirements and eligibility? One, four start, that means the scholarship is only tenable at four start, as well as admission. 
is the scholarship is open to both graduate and undergraduate and student must have a minimum cumulative of secondary education of GPA of 2.75 on a scale of 4.0. The fourth item is unconditional admission into Kent State University. So those are the admission requirement and eligibility for this uh, scholarship. The admission application process is students will be required to submit an online application to Kent State University. Then next, application deadline for this scholarship is August 1st. For this, uh, the amount is $1,000 and is non-renewable. That's what it covers. So let's just look at the how the application uh, process and the documents that will be needed for application. This is the education level. You are expected to have completed a secondary school or a high school education. Let's look at the GPA requirements. You are required to be to have had a secondary school uh, GPA of 2.5 on a scale of 5.0 for you to be considered for a scholarship under the undergraduate scholarship category. And let's look at English language proficiency. For English language proficiency, you say all international undergraduate applicants must submit an English language proficiency test score to be considered for a Kent state program unless they meet specific exemptions or apply for conditional admissions. All of the following all undergraduate applicants must obtain one of the following. Now, TOEFL is there. You can uh, submit TOEFL or revise PBT 18 average score. You can also submit IELTS academics and IELTS indicator on a scale of 6.0. Duolingo, you can also submit that PT, completion of Kent State University ESL Center Level 8 Intensive English Program with a minimum of 3.75 out of 4.0 GPA. Then ELS Level 112 Intensive English Program Completion. Then SAT, minimum of 510 Evidence-Based Reading and Writing. Then ACT, a minimum of 21 in English. So these are the various uh, English language proficiency test score that you can uh, submit to be considered for admission. Then the, another interesting one here is uh, the English language proficiency waivers. It said, depending on your educational background, you may be eligible for an English language proficiency waiver, meaning you do not need to take a language exam see our country list and related requirements so let's just look at the country list now so these are the list of countries that uh that skill that can that can apply for english language uh, requirements i think there are over 20 countries here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 16, 16, that's uh, um, over, over 40 countries here. We also, we even have Nigeria, we have Sierra Leone, we have Singapore, we have South Africa. All of these countries can apply for English uh, language uh, proficiency uh, test score waiver because uh, majority of their degrees are taught in English. So if you are from any of these countries listed above here, you need not to you need not to submit a english language proficiency test scores you just apply for the waiver and you specify that your your previous degree was taught in english and you will be considered provided you can uh, submit enough evidence showing that uh, your 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 previous studies was was delivered or the medium of instruction was in english language so let's continue. Remember the application deadline is 1st of October because June has passed now. So what we are pursuing now is the October 1st, which is the spring semester's uh, deadline. It's October 1st, 2022. 
So this is the gateway for application for scholarship. You submit your online application, you prepare your application uh, documents, you submit your application documents, then you check your admission status, you apply for immigration documents, you transfer your service record if applicable, that's uh, those students who are on transfer, then the next and the last item, which is number seven, you provide final documents after arrival. There's a kind of uh, a verification of uh, some of the documents that you may have submitted. That is all we have for undergraduate scholarship. Remember that the scholarship covers the tuition for complete four years at the Kent State University in the United States. Guy, please put in your application as early as possible and I wish you success and see you on the side of success. Thank you very much. Please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one. I am Moses Obarisi.